Hello, this is Collection Connected, and we're back with a uh, comic book pickup for a new comic book day today. Um, the thing that surprised me the most when I went into the store is that Marvel had pretty much copied DC and put out a bunch of B covers at uh, B Virgin covers at normal price. And this is probably the first time I've bought anything uh, Marvel in a long time. So I saw this Doctor Strange. That was cool. I grabbed that. I believe this is Typhoid Mary. Um, I got the new Deadpool number five. Garbage Pail variant. Or regular cover. Actually, I don't even think that's any kind of variant. It's creepy. With a skull sucker. I mean, Marvel must have dug up some good artists. I haven't had, I haven't seen much good come out of Marvel in a long time. To go in and find four or five books with actually good art on them. The J. Scott Campbell, X Men Magneto. I almost passed on that, but it's a J. Scott Campbell cover, so went ahead and got it. They had stacks of them. The one thing that was sold out is uh, the new Ghost Rider cover was sold out, and the Nightwing cover was sold out when I got there. The John Boy Myers and the Deathstroke were all sold out. I grabbed this book. It sounded interesting. Uh, Fairy Fight Club. The new Walking Dead, Bill Senkovich cover. Francesco Mattina, Batman 56. Star Wars Adventures, Tales from Vader's Castle. That'll, that'll probably be pretty cool. Um, they also have an Amazon exclusive Darth Vader's Castle coming out from Lego. It goes on pre-order tomorrow. And uh, that looked pretty neat too. So if you're into Legos, you might want to check out Amazon tomorrow and get the Vader's Castle. Lollipop Kids also sounded interesting to read. So we'll give these a go. That, uh, that Gwenpool is actually the cover that caught my eye. And then I started looking around and noticed that there were several of them. Uh, Marvel covers that were just virgin covers. And they were all limit one per cover or uh, limit one per person at the comic book store. So um, they must have been pretty popular. They were almost all gone. And this is at one of the biggest stores in the area that orders hundreds and hundreds of copies of some of the books. So... They must have been doing pretty good for them to be sold out. The new Frank Cho Harley Quinn 51. Surprise! This sounded interesting. Um, it's a girl that thinks that there's like supernatural forces at work in the underground of LA. And people of course think she's crazy. But she's right. So... I'll check that out. I had two covers, but I liked that one. I also grabbed the Wonder Woman blank. This is the all blank comic book. Every page is uh, blank to get sketches on. So... That'll be interesting. I was trying to think of what kind of theme I want to do for my book I'll probably go back and buy more if they still have them next week because I think I mean it'd be cool you can do all different all kinds of different themes you know have all the artists do Wonder Woman you know doing something crazy and do a theme based around that and then Batman same thing you know I was thinking of uh, it might be neat to take some of the popular the most popular covers and Maybe get homage covers done based off of that idea. You could fill the page with Fat Man and all kinds of crazy covers or Superman. So I thought that might would be interesting. 
And then I also got the trade paperback of the White Knight. So I'll read through that and you don't have a copy to read over and over again. So um, I think that they changed the artwork. It was edited and then there's some unedited artwork in the trade paperback. So I'll have to take a look at that and see what's going on. But I uh, hope you had a good comic book day and thanks for watching.